done, I'm just going to be starting off by doing my hair, and today I'm going to be curling my hair. So I'm using the Tresemme heat protectant and going around focusing on my ends, spraying that throughout my hair before I start to curl it. I'm going to start to actually curl my hair. I usually curl my hair. I don't like to leave it natural. So if you guys want to see how I curl my hair on a day-to-day -day basis, comment down below. So I'm finished with one side. I'm going to go ahead and hairspray that with some Tresemme hairspray. <laughs> and now for the other side. I really do like the way that these curls come out. Now that I'm done with my hair, I'm just going to go around and hairspray it and kind of toss it around a little bit to make sure the curls get a little loose. Finished with my hair, guys. Now I'm going to prime my face with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So today I'm using my Clinique 2-in-1 Perfection Foundation and I'm just going to dab that all around my face. Now using the Sephora foundation brush, I believe it's brush 45, I'm just going to blend in all that foundation. shade 20 I'm going to conceal all my little imperfections and of course my under eye circles <music> to set my face I'm going to be using this NYX mineral powder and an elf brush to just dab that all on my face and keep my foundation where it's supposed to be all day long. Okay guys, so my eyebrow brush broke, but I'm gonna make do anyways. <laughs> So I'm using this Ulta brush and I'm using an Ulta powder and just filling in my eyebrows. So now for eye makeup, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the 24 hour Smashbox Eyelid Primer. Using my full exposure palette, I'm going to take this shade right here and blend it into my crease as a transition shade. It's 
Sometimes I'll just stop here and not do the rest of my eyelids, but today I was feeling like adding a little more, so I grabbed my Naked 2 palette, and I'm starting with Half Baked, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. shade suspect I'm just gonna blend that into my crease snake bite and I'm going to blend that into the outer V of my eye. This is going to make it a little bit warmer, add a little more depth, make it more fall-ish and I'm also going to blend that on my waterline as well. is what I end up with for my eyeshadow. Now using my NYX liquid liner, I'm going to be adding a small little thin wing. So we're done with eyeliner, and now we are going to curl the lashes. So today I'm using my Maybelline Last Lash Sensational, and I'm going to apply it to my eyelashes like you should. <laughs> get as a result of my eye makeup. So I'm taking this Bare Minerals Enhancer Powder thing with this Bare Minerals brush and I'm going to be using it as a bronzer and really packing it on my face. <laughs> This really makes my face look really warm and I'm loving the way that it looks during the fall. So I'm going to be using an Ulta blush and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones to make it very warm and fall-ish. add a bit 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 of shimmer I'm doing a very very light highlight so now all we have to do is the lips I'm going to be using this Nivea chapstick first now I'm taking my favorite fall lipstick which is L'Oreal's Raisin Rupture I talked about it in another video and I'm just going to be applying that. So this is the completed makeup and hair look. I do like to glam it up a bit for school. If you don't, that's fine, but I do, so... Big 
gotta be smelling fresh for school. I'm wearing my maroon Lulu's today with my green sweatshirt from Marshalls. I'm also wearing my Hunters and I'm going to be applying my Amazing Grace Summer Perfume. So I'm just going to be adding some rings for accessories today, but besides that, that's it for this video. I really enjoyed making this, so like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!